Do you want to know how to get verified on Mastodon? Is it the blue tick that you need? Or is there a different way that you get verified to the various other people who use Mastodon and around you? We're going to cover exactly that and show you how to do it in a couple of minutes. Let's take enhance your primary care and learning. Mastodon is the new social network that many people are turning to instead of other places like Twitter. And a few people are asking the question, how do I get verified on Mastodon? You may see various profiles with little blue ticks next to them on Mastodon. Does that actually mean they're verified? No. See, the thing is, there's no official verification in the same way as other platforms on Mastodon. And actually, the blue tick doesn't really mean a great deal on Mastodon. And that's because it is a decentralized social network. Instead, what matters more is the verification within your own instance or group that you may be using. And in order to know somebody's actually verified, you need to look somewhere else. Where? On their profile. Shall we have a look? So as you can see on my profile, there's no blue tick next to my name. However, what there is, is this green link in the profile that I have. And this has a little tick next to it. This actually means that I've been verified based on that website. This link goes to my own website and it's the actual declarations page on my website that basically says everything that I do. However, this could be, for example, your work website. This could be your school website. This could be anything that is authenticated as something that you basically have your content on. So how do you get verified? Well, it's not that complicated, but it does require a little bit of knowledge. If you click on the preferences tab on the right hand side and then go to the profile section, if you scroll down a little bit, you'll come to this section that allows you to add your profile metadata. So these are the various links that you can put next to your profile. The important part is it tells you here how to verify yourself. So what you have to add into those websites is this Realme link, which is a type of HTML code that references back to the website so that you can be verified. The easiest thing to do, you can create your own Realme link. Alternately, just use the one they provide you with, i.e. this one here. So click copy. Then you need to add this code to your website. Now, this will be different based on what type of website you use. I'm going to show you what it looks like on mine, which is based on WordPress. So this is a WordPress editor for my contact profile page. As you can see, there's a little bit that says that that's my master on profile. And that's actually what the HTML code will look like in a visual way. However, you can't just copy and paste it as normal text like that. You do have to add it as HTML code. So I'm going to show you what that looks like in HTML code. So that's what the HTML code actually looks like on the website. Yes, I know that may be a little bit intimidating for some, but it is basically just a copy and paste job. You need to make sure you save it, then go back to your profile on Mastodon. One of the profile metadatas, add in the web link to that particular page on your website and click save. In a lot of the popular instances, that may be enough and you don't have to do anything else. However, in a lot of the smaller instances, you may need to just contact the admins of that instance just to say, can you verify my profile? Particularly with a massive influx of people going to Mastodon, they may not have the time to just check for every single profile as it goes along. And that is how you get verified on Mastodon. If you want to have a look at more content that shows you how to make your profile look as pretty as mine did, then have a look at this link right here. Ultimately, I've got more content showing you how to use Mastodon more effectively. Feel free to follow me at Dr. Gandalf at primarycare.app on Mastodon. Alternately, leave a little like down below if you thought this was a useful episode and that you want to see more content like this coming from EGP Learning.